things can be done. It is possible. Uh, it just takes patience. Some things, uh, even though they're possible, they take a lot of patience and a lot of persistence. Years ago, we had uh, a mobile home in Dryden at Beaver Lake that we weren't using and they could have used it at Crystal Lake. And so we thought, well, we'll move it to Crystal Lake. So I called the uh, mover, um, Mr. Bullock, and asked him if he would move that mobile home to Crystal Lake for us. And he said, sure. And so he came and looked at it and, and uh, said, yeah, he'll, he'll move it up there for us. Well, a few days later, he called me and said, I don't know if I can move that mobile home up to Crystal Lake for you, like north of Pickle Lake, there's a bridge that is, uh, says that it's about the same width as your mobile home and the sides are eight feet high. He's saying, no, there's a couple other bridges, but the sides on those bridges are only four feet high. So we can raise the mobile home up and take it above the railings on the bridge and then let it down on the other side. But I can't go up eight feet and I don't think your mobile home is gonna fit through that bridge with the eight foot high sides. I said, well, what can we do? And uh, how do we know for sure? Because the measurements were pretty close to the measurements of the mobile home. And he said, well, sometimes what's on the maps put out by the Ministry of Transportation isn't totally accurate. So he said, if you have somebody run up, actually physically run up to the bridge and measure the bridge, how?" what the space is at the narrowest point between the the railings, the eight foot high railings on the side and measure your mobile home, then um, uh, we'll decide if we can do it. So I had somebody run up to the bridge and, and uh, measure it, measured the mobile home. We had two inches to spare. So he said, uh, Mr. Bullock said, well, uh, I could do that if I could back it across the bridge. I can't, don't think I can do it driving across, but if I can back it across, then I can, I can wiggle it and I can probably get it across if I can back it across, but I'd have to find a place where I could turn around with it south of the bridge and then another place where I could turn around north of the bridge. And I said, well, how far are you willing to back? And he said, well, I'll back a couple miles. Um, says, All right, I'll have somebody run up and we'll see if there's a place where you can turn around within a couple miles south of the bridge and again, north of the bridge. So we checked. Sure enough, about a mile and a half, two miles south of the bridge, there was a little road went off to the side where he could pull off there and he would be able to turn around. North of the bridge, it was only about a half a mile to a place where he could turn around so he said, okay, I'll do it. But he said, not only does the mobile home have to be straight, it also has to be level. So I want you to bring a whole half ton truck, pickup truck load of one inch boards so that we can put them under one side, under the one side if we need to, to keep it, to keep it level. So we uh, got ready to move it. The day came, he came over to hook up to it. And uh, when he hooked up to it, he said, no, you, how did you measure this mobile home? I said, well, I measured from one side to the other. And he said, yeah, but look at it. The window frames and the door frames stick out a half an inch on each side. So now we were down to one inch clearance to back the mobile home across the bridge. He said, I think we can still do it. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. So he took it to Pickle Lake. The next morning we met him at Pickle Lake and we headed up the road. It was also the first week of moose season. So uh, we got up to the bridge and uh, he turned around south of the bridge, back the mobile home up to the bridge. We started getting it in and it was really tight. It was really close. And, uh, but the further we got it in, the less room we had to maneuver. At first he could back up like two feet and then pull front and then back up another foot or so. But when we got half of that mobile home on the bridge, he was pulling front two or three feet, 
or two feet and then going back six inches uh, go back another six inches pull front go back another six inches we were just it it was going to be a long process to get that thing across the bridge and then we had to start putting one inch boards under the wheels on the one side because it was leading to the west side and uh, eventually we had like three inches of one inch boards under the wheels on the one side to keep it straight so it wouldn't scrape on the side mr bullock had the most patience of almost anyone i've ever seen he was he just rode his clutch and he just worked that thing gradually gradually and eventually we got the whole mobile home on the bridge and then uh, we had been working at it a, a few hours and then um, uh, some hunters came well at first they were laughing and saying oh ah, ah, you should have put vaseline on it to slide it in between the, the sides and they had all kinds of suggestions and and then uh but then one of the men kind of came up to me and he said like how long have you been working on this and uh them, oh, a couple hours and he's like okay because then he realized that in a few more hours we were going to be done so mr bullock kept working and working of course eventually the whole thing was on the bridge and then it started to come out the other side the north side and the more we got out of the bridge the easier it got and eventually we got it whole thing through the bridge and he went up another backed it up another half mile turned around took it crystal lake but you know it was it was it was a long time it took us probably four hours or more to get that thing across the bridge uh, persistence patience were the two qualities and skill in backing a truck were the two qualities that made it happen